some of you out there in YouTube land may want to know who the f is Vic Meyer. Well, this week you're going to find out. I was born way down low in the Southland. I'm a second generation San Diegan born and raised right here in America's finest city. I played football at Grossmont Junior College. And that's my squad right there, G House. Ranked the number one team in school history. The Keeley Smith at the helm. And that's my brother and I up in Humboldt as football took me all the way up there. But our adventures have not stopped and he's still one of my favorite adventure buddies. I love you. I graduated from Humboldt State University in 1999 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in journalism emphasizing broadcasting. Then it was Humboldt State. Now it's Cal Poly Humboldt. Then it was HSU. And according to who you're talking to, that meant Hippie State University or potentially Hills and Stairs University because the campus is built on the side of a hill and is quite vertical. But it was right here at Humboldt where this broadcasting bug bit me and really changed my path and my trajectory in life and what has brought me here to you and brought you to me. So welcome to a little bit of my past. This is Humboldt and this is where part of my heart lies. Founders Hall was designed by an architect from San Diego and has a real Southern California vibe to it. And on a beautiful sunny day just like this, for this native San Diegan, this sun worshiper, it was almost impossible for me to concentrate in class with views of the beach just like that right there. I mean, come on, how am I supposed to not want to go to the beach? And this is the Bret Hart House. The offices for the journalism department right here at Humboldt State, and where I spent a good portion of my time while attending Humboldt State, now Humboldt Poly. Well, I had to pick up my copy of The Lumberjack, and as much time as I spent there at the Bret Hart House, I spent a lot more time across the parking lot here in the television studios and radio station, KRFH, Radio Free Humble. Now, FM on your dial. Humboldt was originally built as a teacher's college. And the Redwood Bowl, well, the Redwood Bowl was constructed originally by the students. And just beyond that Redwood curtain on the north end of the field was my last campus apartment. Now my room was that one right there on the edge. And I don't think it was by chance that I found myself right next door to the resident authority. <laughs> but as far as dorms go, this was a fantastic place to live while I was finishing up my scholastic playing career. Now, as we've established, the nickname of this place was Hills and Stairs University back in the day. And you can see it is quite vertical and walking up this hill, especially after football practice or a game for that matter. A lot of times we've got rides after games, but practice, Let's see, we'd come walking right to the forest there connects with the Arcata Forest Trail, and then all the way back up that hill on some tired legs. This right here is Cypress Dorms, otherwise known as Cypress Hill. The urban legend when I went here was that that's how Cypress Hill came up with their name. Now my friend Jill has since put that rumor to rest, because he knows Be Real, and from the mouth of Be Real, this is not the real Cypress Hill. I had a great time at Humboldt from being a student athlete to serving in the student government. I made great friends and I really did some fun shit. And after four years of fun shit, I got a degree. 
That's my first dorm that I stayed in. That's Sunset Hall. And legend has it, it was designed by the same person who designed San Quentin Prison. And it's quite obvious in the similarities. But Sunset Hall is not indicative of the area, as Arcata is full of charming and ornate Victorian homes and is really part of the lure that brings me back every time. The campus is beautiful and even though the area may not have the most cultural diversity, they do a great job of celebrating diversity. In fact, in the town of Arcata, California, there is a large concentration of artists, in fact one of the largest in the entire country. And I just love the people. The people of Arcata are amazing. And they really make you feel at home. And don't get me started on those trees. You know I love them giants. It is so humbling to be amongst these giant humbled redwoods. After leaving Humboldt, I spent some time traveling around the country and working in the broadcast industry. That's Patrick Swayze's brother, actor Don Swayze, with me at the ESPN X Games in 1999. And that's me. First time in a cockpit, Joey. So I moved back to San Diego to work for KUSI and raise a family. I spent about 15 years in Ocean Beach on Muir Avenue for a good portion of that before I swapped Muir Avenue for the Muir Wilderness in Mammoth Lakes, where I've been bartending and serving for just over the past decade, and doing so for most of it at Liberty Sports Bar and Grill, which allows me the opportunity to produce content like this for people like you. It's already abundantly clear how much I love my Mickey. And of course you know I love my kitties, especially this special girl right here. She started it all. Miss Bo Willow. You can see, it ain't so bad being a cat here. You should know that the cat's mommy and I, well, we weren't satisfied with the cat condos and perches that we found in the stores because most of them, if you read the labels, they say formaldehyde and cancer causing blah, blah, blah. And you know, we love these guys so much. We just want them to be safe and well kept and well cared for because they are so loved. They're loved to the point where they have a custom built out of all redwood, manzanita, and a repurposed wine box made from all natural pine. That's what our kids get. And this one, they actually constructed, obviously, a champagne box, and a very expensive wine box, but that's all Driftwood. Right here. He loves his mommy so much. He probably misses her right now, so he's sitting in her chair. Because if she was here sitting in this chair, he'd be right on top of her lap. Right where he loves to be. But he does love his daddy too. When I showed up, he was waiting in the window for me. Who says you can't rub a cat's belly? Yeah, I love the baby boy. <laughs> You're the sweetest. Oh my goodness. Are you a show off or what? I love you, baby boy. I know you love, he loves, 
ear scratches. Yeah, I know. We got a little bit of more brushing to do too. Little head rubs and ear scratches. That's our thing. <laughs> so, surprise! You knew I was a fur dad, but yeah, I'm a dad dad. These are old photos because I respect my son's privacy, as he's a man, and he gets to choose his own path in life, but these photos are my memories, and my happy place, and I just want you and him and everyone in the world to know how much I love him and how proud of him I am. I'm a lover. I'm also a fighter. I'm a lover of humanity, culture, art, music, adventure. I love taking photographs. I love showing people places they maybe couldn't go. I love meeting new people. You know, I love doing fun shit. All your dreams come true. Remember, when you're out there on the road, look out for Smokey because they're looking out for you. And as always, thank you for allowing me to entertain you. Presumably, this is the Vic Meyer Show every Wednesday on YouTube. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, keep those comments coming. You know I do love hearing from you. We'll see you next week right here on the Vic Meyer Show. Only on YouTube every Wednesday. Much love. I'll take you out with a preview of some of the things that you can expect to see in the coming weeks right here on The Vic Meyer Show. Stay tuned. The Long Beach Dub All-Stars, the first band, the first live act that I ever covered in journalism school.